Questions for Coach Jones? Feel good to get back uh, in the W column? Yeah, it is. I'm happy for these guys. I thought they earned it the last couple of days, and you know that's that's the team that we've been all year long. And I thought we played with some toughness. And played together. We played defense every possession. Uh, you know, give Tulsa credit. They every time we kept trying to separate, you know, they make a big three or make a big play, and uh, we got to 13 there, but we could never build on it because they made some big shots. And uh, I was really proud. We took 42 free throws, so that means that we just wasn't living with bad one-on-one -on -one quick shots. We moved the ball. We got fouled. We played inside, outside. I thought we had a nice distribution of points tonight, and uh, just really thought we played with some good toughness tonight. I was really proud of our our attitude and effort. You guys moved the ball a lot better tonight than you did in the previous two losses. Is that something you focused on going in? Yeah, without question. And you know, tonight we, you know, we didn't talk much about Tulsa the last three days. It was all about us. We didn't give a scouting report. Didn't even watch film. Didn't even talk about one player. It was all about UCF tonight. And our guys came out and, and responded. And I thought that uh, it's not that they don't know what to do. Uh, it's just the focus and doing it right now. And uh, those guys know how to play together because you don't win 17 games without playing together. And uh, so we went back to playing the way we expect and understood that uh, we needed to tighten up things and have a better focus. And uh, I'm really proud of how we responded tonight. When you look at eight fast break points given up compared to what was what the numbers were the last few games, and then I mean even when they got chances to run and you give up a foul, I mean is that, that the kind of effort that you've Absolutely. been looking for and asking for? Absolutely. And you know there's a few guys who've seen there were some quick takeout guys for not rotating for not doing their job, for not executing. If it didn't happen, the horn blew, came out. And uh, we, we did that four or five times, and that kind of got everybody's attention, realizing that, hey, you better do what you're, you're expected to do and uh, help your team, whatever your role is. And if not, you come coming at you. Keith. Uh, you had a stretch in the second half. You guys made six straight field goals, mm -hmm. and I think five of them came while Keith was on the bench. So mm -hmm. having like other guys step up. Yeah, absolutely. We got a lot of guys who can score in a lot of different ways. And, you know, obviously Keith's been a big part of what we build our offense around, but there's a lot of other guys who can score. The biggest thing is for this team is being unselfish and waiting their turn. And that's hard when you get a bunch of guys who've always been scorers and when they continue to play together. You know, we talked about the me factor and we turned it upside down to the we factor. You know, we turned the M to the W. It's real simple. And when you start playing for we, good things happen instead of me. And I think that. Uh, you know, these kids just need to be coached, and uh, every day it's a process and a growth. We still got a lot of young guys, and uh, I'm just proud that they got a win uh, tonight against the team of Tulsa, who's got some tough players. You know, mismatch four guards out there a lot of times on the perimeter, so it was a different matchup for us. You, you touched on this a little bit when you see Keith and Isaiah getting the line the way they did. That an indication of the aggressiveness that you want, especially out of those two. And I know you like to set numbers and, and goals of trying to get to the line X number of times. Absolutely. It, how, how far above were, were you this time? Yeah, our goals get to 30. And we got there 42 times here tonight. And I thought we were aggressive. I thought Keith got fouled going to the rim instead of fading away. And uh, he was aggressive. Uh, even though he had some shots, he still missed around the basket. He was aggressive going there. And, and see, he just makes things happen. And we want to get the ball in his hands late game. He's hard to trap. Uh, he's a playmaker. Sometimes I like for him to slow down a little bit, uh, but he just, you know, got one gear and that's playing hard. So it's kind of hard sometimes to shift him out of that. And Coach, talk about the confidence going into, obviously, Georgia Southern on Tuesday and then your last home game versus Memphis on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, right now I think we're in third place here in the league, which is important. And I think we've got a chance to control our destiny. I mean, obviously we've got Memphis in a conference game, then we got two on the road. And so, you know, with three conference games to play here right now, we've got the chance to finish well. And obviously Memphis coming in next Saturday. Don't want to overlook Georgia Southwestern. I mean, obviously that's a non-conference game that, uh, you know, we've got to use that game to, to go out and play and keep getting better. And and uh, I think that's going to be a great uh, challenge for us as well. And then uh, obviously we'll have a chance a couple days, have a day off there on Wednesday and have a chance Thursday and Friday to prepare for, for a Memphis team, you know, that's more than likely probably going to come in here undefeated. So great opportunity for us to play against them, uh, who's probably one of the hottest teams in college basketball right now. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Uh,